Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you guys. So I've had a lot of requests lately since I've been doing my center part to do this kind of curl look and it's one of my favorites, absolute favorites. I've recently been doing it and I have so many questions on how I do it. It's a pretty simple hair tutorial but if you guys know my feeling that it's not as simple to curl your hair as you might think. I know there are a million and ten different curling hair tutorials online, but it's the tips that you don't see and you don't necessarily think that you're doing, or you think you're doing everything right, but you're not. So I'm going to share with you my tips on how I get this perfectly, because believe me, with the curling iron that I'm showing you, which is the wand, there are many different ways to curl it, and there's secrets on how to make it look the way you want it to look. So these curls are perfect for any time. They really hold a long time. I thought they would be perfect for Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is coming up. In fact, if you have a date, you can rock these curls. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you my full tutorial with my tips and tricks. I know that there are a ton of videos on how to curl your hair online and this is just my way. So um, yeah, these are more of like not my everyday curls, but they're an everyday sort of thing. Or you can dress them up, wear a bold lip and winged eyeliner and make it an event type of look. So I really love these curls. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Started. The first thing you're going to need is a conical wand. I'm using the largest size. I believe it's a one and a fourth inch to a one inch, not a one inch to a one and a half inch. I think that's what it is, but I'll have it listed down below for sure. Um, I got this from Target. This is the Conair... U curl and I have it set to the highest heat setting which is 400 degrees. I just like it that hot. I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference but I think that these help your curls last the longest and I just really like the shape of this. I use a regular curling iron sometimes to achieve these curls and just don't use a clamp but these just help the ceramic iron of this just really helps lock in the curl for a really long time so I highly recommend getting one of these and they're like maybe $25 to $30. They're really, really affordable. So I highly, highly recommend that. I'm going to be using just a brush. This, this is just a tangle teamer. It just kind of like brushes out the hair without making it super frizzy. So that's what I'm going to be using. Um, some sort of heat protectant. I recommend the Tresemme one. I really like this. But um, before in my hair, I just used the It's a 10 this morning when I um, got out of the shower and I also used the Amazing Blow Dry Secret Spray, which I equally love. Amazing, amazing products. And these both have heat protectant things in them. So I uh, don't need to apply a heat protectant, but I did just blow dry my hair. And um, yeah, I just kind of like blow dry it down and away from my face. But depending on where you want your part is how you're going to um, blow dry hair. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. The the main thing that I want to share with you in this video is not just a typical curling video, but if you've seen a bunch of curls in video, like if you see a bunch of curling tutorials, you know that it's not always that easy to get the same achieved look. Like you'll look at somebody's hair and they're like, wow, I really like the way your hair is curled, but it's not as easy as just curling your hair. There's different tips, techniques, and tricks that you do to make your hair look a certain way. So I've had a lot of requests to do this tutorial, and I thought I would kind of share with you my tips and tricks on how I achieve it and it's very very different um, depending on the curl you want so this is the curl this is the way that I do these curls and hopefully you will be able to use these tips and tricks to make it look pretty much identical on you so let's go ahead and get started so the first trick is I do not separate my hair I do separate my hair with a lot of curls but this one I don't and I like my hair really flat to my head I don't like a ton of volume that's just me and I also like a center part for this look so the next thing I do is I take sections diagonally, I mean vertically down, not horizontally. I don't like to take pieces this way. I like to take them down in stripes. So I pick up like something that's a section in its own going downward instead of like a section going wide. Do you know what I mean? So that's the first thing. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab some pieces. I'm going to start with the front piece so you guys can see. So this is like my bang area. And as you can see, it's from top to bottom. And I'm going to take and smooth out the hair, depending on how like knotty your hair is, you'll have to adjust that. So once I have my piece of hair, I want the curling iron wand to be facing downward, and I want to make sure that the hair is laying flat. I don't want to twist the hair while I'm going around the barrel. It's a serious misconception, and that will give you the almost wave instead of an actual curl. And don't matter if these little things hang out, they don't really notice to matter too much. So you just want to hold it and you can just kind of touch your finger on it to see when it's about done. So make sure that the hair lays flat 
and is not curled. So I'll show you the wrong way how to do it. And then I just want to release the curl and kind of hold it for a couple seconds and then release it. So as you can see, the hair is flat all the way down. Here's the wrong way how to do it is twisting the hair like this. So you see like it's not laying flat, it's almost twisted, and I'll show you the kind of curl that you get with that. It's, it like falls, like you see how that happens? It's not the same sort of curl, so I'll go back and show you that, how you do it one more time properly. And you just wanna make sure that the hair is flipped, so you almost like flip your hair, your hand around. It's a technique with your hand instead of just winging your hair around. It takes a little bit longer, but you'll notice that the curls are a lot prettier and they're more curls instead of just a wave. So hold it for a couple of seconds, anywhere from five to 10 seconds, whatever, depending on the thickness of your hair. And then release. So you see you have a curl this time instead of just a wave. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue again to grab pieces that are lengthwise. You see I have a whole little section from top to bottom so it's in one curl. And then again, whoop, take and hold the curl, and you want to start it up as high as possible, and just kind of make sure that that hair evenly lays flat on the rod. Okay, and I have a little hanger there, but it's fine. And just continue holding for a couple seconds. And then releasing. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue the rest of my hair, but just remember to grab in sections that go vertically and also do not twist the hair around the wand. That's gonna give you the best result. Hold and then release and continue going. You don't want too many curls on one side of your head. I would say no more than like, I don't know, seven? Probably, well, depending on the length of your hair, but just make sure that you start it up as close as you can to the top of the barrel and keep wrapping around, and I will see you guys when I'm all done with my hair. And I'm just going to repeat that on the other side as well, and then I'll show you what I do to make them look more romantic and kind of, um, w like, less intense. Okay, so now that you have all your curls and they are completely curled, I did about one, two, three, four, five. I did about five to six curls on each side. You don't want to do too many or you're going to get way too much curl and too much going on. So you just kind of want to curl away from the face about five to six on each side and no more than that. Well, depending on the thickness of your hair. But you want to grab pretty large sized chunks and they'll look like ringlets all the way down your hair. And then you're just going to take and kind of comb through them once they're cooled, don't do this before they're cooled. And you can even use a brush to kind of just paddle softly through it. This is going to give you those really nice, light, bouncy, but really fluffy curls. And they kind of stick together, but I really like that look, and that's how I achieve it. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the same with this side. Being very careful not to mess up the curls. And there you go, it's really just soft, easy, simple, simple curls. This whole process took me no longer than 10 minutes to complete on my hair because you're only holding them for about five to eight seconds and you're only doing about 12 of them, if that. So it should not take you very long at all. I love this look with some winged eyeliner and a bold lip and you will be perfect for any event. It'll look really nice and I just love these curls. These are also really awesome second day curls because like I said, these ceramic, Iron really keeps these curls intact, so you can wear these for multiple days. I swear, they're really awesome. You can, of course, finish up with a shine spray. I really love this My Amazing Blow Dry Secret. It's also a really great shine spray at the end. My hair's pretty shiny right now, so I don't really need to. Um, I think, anyways, for my liking. And, uh, yeah, I just really like this. Of course, you can do this on side parted hair, anything like that. You can add a little design with your bangs, but... I think this is a really awesome, super soft, simple um, way to curl your hair. And just remember those tips and tricks and you'll have these kind of waves. If you twist it, you won't have the same results. These are more of the actual like curls instead of just a kink wave type of thing. So there are many ways that you can use this curling iron. This one is my favorite to achieve these sort of really, really pretty waves. And I hope you guys enjoyed, found this video helpful. Let me know any tips and tricks you use down below. And uh, yeah, happy curling and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.